let's maybe start to, to do some of these wooden chests so we can store some more things. Something that I would um, like to see for the goblins, probably in the plans already, or maybe it's for a late profession that I haven't that I haven't had yet. Uh, but uh, I only seen this one so far with 24 items. It would be nice with a bigger one, but perhaps when you promote the bone smith to the next one, you might be able to do some bigger ones. When they become an uh, earth master, I guess. Ice cream! Oh! <laughs> Ice cream, yes. Hi! Hello! Uh, Woohoo! Woohoo! How are you doing, man? Oh, there's another chest. Okay, so it's bigger than that one. Uh, all of my hard things, I think they're sad uh, because I'm um, thirsty. But we did pop in a well here, so now you can see that you're having a little bit of nice drink going on. So that was a mechanic that was added with the Unstable or Ace version that eventually is going to come up on Steam Workshop as well. But it gets sad when they haven't had a drink and it's also very wet here. Soaking wet and thirsty. So he's soaking wet but also thirsty. That's a kind of weird combination, I guess. Still less than halfling chests, 48 items, but a double amount of wood chest. Well, that sounds a lot better than 24, so I take that. Someone is sleeping through the wall. Hmm. I wonder if this person is stuck on this one. Okay, it wasn't stuck. Okay, first sleep on a the table, then sleep in a the chair. Very nice. Double sleeping time. Living in a rainy swamp and complain there's no water? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if you want to drink swamp water, but I guess if you make a well, that should be giving you some normal worker, I guess, you could say. Um, I'm gonna put my market stalls over here because I don't know where I want to have them at this point. Can only be uncitizen if Lord Banto allows, which is us he usually does because he's a merciful god. <laughs> only, and yeah, you can indeed be one of my citizens. What kind of name do you want to have for one? Look at our little goblin just going around. How are we doing to food? Food is good. They haven't oh there we go look at that he has became a big big goblin got a little nice eye patch as well and pretty cool woo how okay you want to be this new person let's make you this one you got uh, four minds six spirit and three in body and you also have the courageous traits so you do not fear all these small little bugs you will be the protector of the goblin eggs perhaps but that's nice. Finally we get another goblin in our town. And I think it's time that we also put out another egg. But uh, like Bruno said, now it's gonna be a little bit harder. I don't think it's gonna be too hard since it's just the next one, right? Yeah, it would maybe be nice with a little notification. Yeah, that's some good stats. Enough. If I don't remember it entirely wrong, it seems like some goblins can get higher stats than um, you normally can go. Because normally maximum is like 6, but I, when I tried the swarm goblins a little bit in peaceful, I got some people with like 8 in spirit and stuff. Yes, they do come from the eggs. Oh, okay, the max is 558, five, okay. So they can have a uh, higher spirit than a normal halfling is pretty much but the lower mind and body okay that's interesting i'm a worker yeah we'll see what kind of profession you get later on let's see if we can get our fisher soon no fishing dock yet okay it's kind of nice they don't go against us at the moment we can decide to go up ourselves you can help in this battle so we can have Wu Hao, and uh, we're also gonna have our soldier stifler Go out and fight some. 
Do the goblins also have a little bit of um, stronger base weapon? Considering they can work as like Norman soldiers. Worker hammer for damage. Yeah, Bruno Supremo is actually the creator of uh, the Swamp Goblins, these goblins. And also the entire biome, the world here, he's the creator of that. And the, this is a work in progress, like I said, a lot of it is, and uh, so far it's looking really nice. And gotta love to play with uh, the extra small map, the small map is so much smoother to play with. Okay, so I feel like we should get this into boxes, it's always good, because if things are inside of boxes, things will not rot. We don't feel, want to rot in food, right? Can I be a blacksmith? We don't really have a blacksmith, but I can show you the professions we have, and uh, you can decide which one you want to be later on. So the classes we have here is a warrior, we have a shaman, which can become an uh, spirit walker, which is a healer, summon spirits to help in fights, pretty cool, right? Then we have a trapper to capture some animals, get us some food. Then we got the beast tamer, summon and order animals into fighting. This one is probably gonna be really cool. They look really awesome. And we got a bonesmith, we got a fisher, and the bonesmith can progress towards an earth master. And the earth master can craft advanced items, decoration using hard materials like stone and clay. Shaman is good, okay. Do you want to perhaps be an uh, spirit walker later? Would you like to be that? Then you would be a healer in our town, and you will get the, these things later. Get a healing, get a goblin spirit, multiply spirits. Some multiply goblin spirits. The amount is based on the summoner spirit set. Ooh, that's cool. Big G summons the beloved and playful goblin Big G. He helped his generation through tough times ages ago. And warrior aura. All your warriors will now be shielded by a defensive aura. And oh, dragon aura. The combined power of a max level beast tamer, they summon an ancient dragon spirit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't think there were like a combination skill. Is this also a combination skill? So this is only these warriors, right? Oh my god, that one is that one is really cool. Hello, unknown password. How are you doing, man? How can I join the goblin clan? Uh, give me a name and I will put you in the game. So we also want to check out uh, a little bit with Beast Tamer. Let's see what kind of things they have. Four Feathers. A group of elite podios called the Four Feathers will join help in the fight. Nice. Wildlife. Summon a local fauna wildlife to help with in the battle. Traps. Traps enemies, immobilizing them for some time. Varanus. Summon a pair of Varanuses in the fight. That's going to be pretty OP. Firefly Cloud. Cast a cloud of fireflies into the enemies, confusing and blinding them. That's going to be pretty cool as well. And here we got the Dragon Aura, Goblins only. With the combined power of max level Spirit Walker, they can summon the Ancient Dragon Spirit into battle. And the last for level 6 is this one, Big Wolf. Arflings only. Oh, okay, so this is, this is not for Goblins, right? Summons a Big Wolf, one that inspires the allies and scares the enemy. But that's some pretty cool stuff, right? Oh, you want to be a healer? Sounds good, man, because we will need a healer, so we will make you first to be an uh, shaman then. Can my name be Solrak? Yeah, and I really want uh, to be a beast tamer. Sure, man. Let's see who that could be, what names we have open here. Uh, I might have to wait with name here, so maybe the next goblin will be you. Then you will be our beast tamer. Or maybe you can be this one, because he's our current trapper. But maybe we want to have a higher spirit for him. Will spirit make the beast tamer better? It did, right? Let me just go read it again. So it doesn't say anything about spirit making more of them. So I think it should be fine if you are this guy. 
But for the healer, we should have a high spirit. Have top spirit? I will be the spirit walker. Yes, you will. So, um, you're gonna remain at the moment as a worker. But I will make you a shaman later on. But at the moment, we really need your hands and your hammer to build our houses and farm for us. But later, you will be a shaman and promoted to be a spirit walker. Dragon sound stronger than wolf. Yeah, they indeed do sound a lot stronger, right? Yep, the class can be used by harping, so they get the skill variation instead. Oh, that's nice. Oh, so your name is Carlos. Hello, Carlos. How are you, man? Okay, we got some wooden chests, so let's try to switch out some of these uh, normal stockpiles, but as you can see, we're already getting some rotten food, and we don't want that. So it's gonna be a lot of work to move this, but the uh, earlier we do this, the easier it's gonna be. And then we got the fishing dock, so we're gonna do some fishing here. Extra our houses. Could be a nice little spot here. Just be sure that when they reach level 2 you have uh, stuff ready to promote them because it's harder to level them in their new job if they have a lots of levels on their old job. Yeah, that's how it is. The more level you have before leveling a new profession, the harder it is going to be. Which can really make a huge difference. Like the only classes that are pretty much always really easy to level is soldiers and the healers pretty much. That's nice, we're getting this building done. The food is going down a tiny bit. Okay, we don't have much raw meat. Maybe we need to go and uh, find some more mushrooms. We need to do some more firefly essence. Let's see if we can find some more of these flowers because we need them for the herbs as we saw there. Ooh, big burners. Can we take these? Nice. We can make some food of that. That's nice. I think it's these guys that put out those big, big eggs. Hello, Tap Fox Beer. How are you doing, man? Is there difficulty on this game? I was having a big headache trying to remember this game's name, and I wanted to check out how far it's come since it came out. So, since it came out, we got uh, Stoneheart 1.1 that was fixing a few things. And after that, we have a big, super big mod called uh, Ace, which is Authorize a Community Expansion. And that mod is aiming to complete a lot of the things that uh, the original developer didn't get enough time to do. So they are fixing a lot of that things and adding new features and pretty much making the game a lot better. And recently, they did add a drinking system to the Unstable Ace version, which is why we have a well here. So your people have to do drinks. So they go and drink water, and there are also different drinks, which we can't do with the goblins, because this is a separate mod that uh, is still a work in progress. But uh, normally you can make like mead, you can make berry drinks and beer and all of that, nice little drinks, and it will give different buffs and debuffs. And there's so many, many more things with Ace, because with Ace, you also have this thing that people will get like too warm, or they will get too cold, so you do need to get better clothing. And you can also upgrade the tools of your workers, so you can get like uh, iron tools, steel tools, and that will make them build faster, mine faster, and all that stuff. So um, it's really hard to say all the things that has happened, but I can say that Ace has um, done some huge amount of things. Awesome new features, lots of new fixes. Uh, the game developers had like end timing from uh, the company that owned them called Riot, and uh, it was pretty much uh, you have this amount of time to finish the game, do as much as you can before this time goes out, and uh, that's the time limit. But Ace is doing a really good job, like, they have made so much stuff in such a little amount of time, really. If you played like vanilla game and you go for Ace, you're gonna be surprised, like, they have done so much. 
And to me, it doesn't matter really that it's made by Ace, because even if there were developers, it doesn't matter because the game is better and great, right? It's a pretty crazy hat on the soldier. Yeah, that's a pretty crazy hat for sure. Why is there so many enemies? They go more and more. Uh, the reason for that is uh, with the Swamp Goblin, the Firefly Clan, as they are called. The way we get new harflings with this mod is that we have our egg pedestal here. We decide that we're gonna lay an egg with the goblins. And uh, then it's gonna take a time for this one to hatch. And uh, before that happens... There's going to be attacks towards your town, and uh, apparently the more goblins you have, the harder those attacks is going to be, pretty much. So let's say when we have like 15 goblins, maybe, then we probably going to get way, way more attacks. Yeah, no problem, Tap Fox. Uh, tap for beer. Um, I can't say all the features because... I played it so long, so some of the features to me is like, it feels like it's the vanilla game because I always play with Ace. But I, I would highly recommend to go to um, like the Stonehearth uh, Discords and uh, read posts about Ace on their dis Discord, uh, Discords. Because uh, it's a huge, huge list. It's so many lines. If you really want to know all the things. You're hungry? Nice. Or what time do you got? Are you gonna eat something soon? Okay, so we got two boxes there. I'm just gonna keep them for now around this house. I guess we can have one next to our fisher and he can drop his fish in that one. Maybe he keeps some bait in it, who knows? So I kind of want to try to put out the Goblinpedia, because this one says that it um, has info about the goblins and the swamps, and I'm not sure if it shows in-game or if it opens a website. It's gonna be a little bit cramped if I put it there, so I'm just gonna have it next to the well for now. I only had some... I had some noodles and chicken before, then I had some coffee, and now I'm drinking water with, um, I don't know what you call it, the bubbles. I have one of those uh, soda streams, but uh, I just have water in it. Yay, they eat just fish. Uh, they eat many things. Um, for example, we have the fish here, and uh, we can cook that with the fish here. We can, in the beginning, we can make this one, sashimi, fresh raw fish, slice it into thin pieces. And uh, later we can make the cooked fish, which um, we will use any fish meat. Just let it heat in the oven. That's uh, some things we could do. This one we can't really do because we don't have any coconuts growing here. Uh, but that one requires some crab. Then we have trapping here. And currently we are trapping bug meat. And with bug meat, we can, with the shaman, we can cook that into edible things. But currently we don't see that we have them here because they're still sitting here. I don't know, we probably have too few people to loot at the moment. Ooh, food traders here, that's a good, nice thing. There's something that you can do if you want to make some food that you can't really get. Other ways with the, the goblins. So we do have, for example, this one, fried eggs. So since we don't have a shepherd and stuff like that, uh, we can't get the eggs that way, but we could still buy eggs and cook some things. And uh, this one I think we can do because we put out to harvest those large eggs. A bacon fries would also be doable with a trap when we get the big uh, game going on. Then we can buy some eggs and make this one. I think for now we're just gonna buy maybe some some food for us. So how many do we need of those to make one? Okay, just one. Okay, so that's not too bad then. I'm gonna buy the eggs and maybe we'll use that later on.
I'm gonna buy uh, sell one of those market stalls to get a little bit of money. Already made uh, we made four of them, but we still have three, so. Sparkling water, okay. In Sweden, that would be cold syrup vatten. But I guess we just called it like uh, bubble vatten or bubble water. <laughs> Shamans all healthy related stuff, food, potions, etc. Do we are lacking potions? Yes. But they can't make any potions yet, but later on they will. So since we bought some of uh, the mushroom here, let's make some. Ooh, since we... Hmm. I did buy some basket of berries, didn't I? Or oh, turnips, okay. So maybe later if we buy some basket of berries, we can make berry bush seeds with it. Then we can have berry bushes grown here. That would be nice. But I'm gonna look for some flowers. Is these ones. A gipple flower can harvest it for healing herbs. Let's start harvesting some of them. Gotta love all these small little fireflies here as well. Nice thing for the swamp. I think in the past the swamp was a lot more foggy, right? I like it the way it is now, it's pretty nice. I'm just gonna bring some of these over. I'm just gonna. Um, Undeploy this, pick them up, unroot them. Why is this button not working? Oh, I'm clicking on that one. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Here we go. In Danish, it's uh, Bruce, 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 and the uh, German is ga what? Yes. <laughs> Uh, so what are the main enemy for this mod? Um, I know in your YouTube videos you fight goblins, so it is humans instead? I'm not entirely sure. So far we have fought uh, some bugs pretty much. And I know there should be... Okay, we also have these small little stone golems. But I also don't know that there should be some like swamp bears and they might be pretty dangerous. Swampy bears. But for this one, we have to remember also that uh, the campaign, like the progression as I understand it, it's, um, it's a work in progress, so a lot of things is currently missing. I'm not even sure if you can go to like a next town tier or not. The campaign is not ready yet. I'm working on it right now. It will be humans first and undeads later. Okay, that's cool. Because the humans become undead, maybe? <laughs> would be cool with some undead goblins, that would be interesting. Vas emit gas, and you're like, okay. <laughs> gas water. <laughs> that doesn't sound healthy at all. Okay, so we should have a little tiny little goblin somewhere, I think. Is it him? Here we have the little baby goblin. Let's make another egg then. That means we're gonna get more enemies again. Hopefully not too tough enemies. Okay, we got so we can make the large fried eggs. Nice. Let's make one fried egg. Get a little bit of nice food for us. This is the sign I really like as well. Goblin certificate. Proof of something well done. And they just smashed your little hands with some paint on them. Bam. Could be from a promotion or from a winning a spit competition. Anything is valid. <laughs> I really, really like that one. So nice, so cute. This is the same as we have here when we promote people. Which is also super nice, this one.
Okay, so what are we missing for this one? I really want to get this one done. Candle, candle, okay. Watch out, some bugs. Okay, let's go. By the way, is the is the stream smooth or not? Because I see that Streamlabs OBS is like, oh, skipped frames, 54%. It feels weird if it is skipping frames, because I don't know why it would. Okay, there we go. So we do have some candles there. What do they cost to make? Wood and herbs. Okay, so we're gonna need quite a lot of herbs. So let's plant some. We can have some in the water here, why not? I guess we can start to build this one, because we only need to place one candle, and that one will be done after that. And we also do have a fisher hut that uh, Bruno made for the, the goblins, we might use this one later. We just gonna have to remember to remo remove one of the rates, I think. Yeah, that one in the back there, because we can't craft that one. Currently, we can't do so. So I wonder if we want to maybe have... We can make this fisher maybe being out here, perhaps? I wonder if we want to drag it down like that or have it like this. It kind of looks better when it's elevated, I think. A little bit up like that. Because then it means these will go down a little bit further in the water. So let's remove this one. Above water, okay. Sounds like an agreement. Look at that, we're using the well. You gotta love this animation. And it's even more cute, like when the baby goblins go and use it, then it's even more cute. So let's see, do we have enough uh, stuff for this one? We have loads of fiber, we have loads of wood, so we're really good on that one. Uh, to make this one, it's a little bit special because you don't only just harvest the cattail, you have to unroot them, pull them out pretty much. And uh, that's a thing I think you can also do with Ace to like work with fungi to grow more fungi, right? Oh, I think these guys are maybe hurting a little bit more than before. Perhaps it, uh, we should try to get that healer going soon. As healers in this game often makes it go way better. And let's see then for a shaman. They cannot do, be doing building though. But we still have our Bonesmith, who could be doing the building. It feels kind of weird to get a shaman, another shaman now, but we might do so soon. What do we need to make that one? Oh, here we got some armor as well. Let's, let's take a look at these. So currently we have the flower hat, more about fashion and protection. Wrong enough. That one probably gonna look really cute. I think this armor is gonna be pretty awesome. Firefly Varana's armor. That's cool. And even a helmet. Look at that. That's gonna look freaking awesome. A horn helmet. This is probably also gonna look pretty cool. 
Oh, so the shaman makes his very own talisman, level 6. Okay, then we have quite a um, travel to get there then. Let's see what the shaman is crafting at the moment. He's doing some mushroom. Oh, nice. I think we just get level up. Okay, two more levels. Then we can get another shaman. And is it level two to promote to being uh, the next one? The spirit walk was named right? Oh, okay. You need to be level four shaman. Okay. So when we get the other shaman, we have to go all the way to level four. Then uh, after level four, we can get a uh, spirit walker. Nice. Okay, food is still going good, and that's the thing that I'm pretty much most scared about is the food, because we don't have like a huge amount of food we can work with. Did I hear you say the goblins are doing mushrooms? <laughs> they probably are, I guess, and some cattail here. Okay, what are we missing for this one? We have some trouble here. I think it's probably because of the scaffolding. The scaffolding is creating error while building, but this is gonna be... Here we see, the error is gone again. I would love if they can have like a, a nice mushroom farm. I'm not sure if you can make seeds, like a mushroom seeds. Let's see, we got cattail, gipple flower, normal flowers. do not think that we can make them, because we do have these really, really big ones growing around. Have a spell for meager food supply. Grow cantarelles. Did you see some in there? Because there are those in the game. The mushrooms are not in yet. It will be harvest of mushroom garden, I guess. That sounds cool. Yeah, we got a new enemy group here. So I think we we're gonna fight at uh, our banner this time if they're coming for us. Okay, let's go up, I guess. But now we have two workers. Bring it on, little bugs. But that's pretty cool, they actually drop some bug meat, that's nice. So we also get some food from them, cool. I wonder if they also sometimes drop some mushrooms, that would be nice, because they do have a little mushroom growing on their back. Small and bug meat, sticky but nutritious. So I wonder if should go should we go for like eight halflings or I mean eight goblins or should we wait? I think it may be good to wait. Cause I'm not sure how dangerous it's gonna get soon and we're only at half health with Stifler. Uh, yeah, it's different with the goblins. We only have putting out eggs instead. Which I like, because it's like it becomes a new game, so I really, really like it. Stifler level 2 warrior, multiply target. Ooh! Performs a spin attack that hits everyone around. Cool, so the warrior is different as well. Is this like the original spinning attack that uh, your normal halflings has, but it's, it's like at an early level, like the, the normal cleave, or is this one a unique one, like a special one? That should be very useful. I 
think also maybe to make the work a little bit easier out here for now. Let's put some boxes so we can just take the bug meat and put it in here. Okay, so I think this one just got done, right? So we could add in so we can uh, have another one to get some eggs in here. I do not know if you really would like to use two of them at the same time because it might be a little bit too dangerous. For now at least it's gonna probably be too dangerous. It would be really fun sometime to like put out like 10 or 20 eggs at the same time. <laughs> Just to see all the crazy chaos going on. Because that's probably going to be masses of enemies rolling in. I'm just going to open my window a little bit so we can uh, get a little bit chillier in my room. I closed the door and everything, so now it's starting to get a little bit warm, so I'm just going to open my window. So I will be back in like uh, just a very few seconds. Okay guys, I'm back again. It's gonna be a little bit less warm in my room I guess. I can even hear on my computer that it was getting warmer because the motherboard fan is like... I don't think there's too much we can do at the moment. Everyone is pretty much busy with the things. This one is pretty easy to craft actually. It only requires one firefly essence and one stone. Uh, this one's a little bit harder because it requires granite skin, so that's something depending on this biome how hard it is to get it. But I think this one is gonna look really cool. And uh, like you said, the uh, finder, we do have AoE attacks, so the bugs might definitely be easier. So maybe we can get another goblin. Let's try it. Look at that little goblin talking about the bunny statues. And he's hungry, of course. Give me food. Give me food. <laughs> and he's crying. I don't want to give you food. <laughs> the stream overlay is on. Thank you. Oh, I haven't tried that. It's the one that is similar to like Pokemon Go, right? But it's uh, like Harry Potter instead. Okay, so hopefully we get this one put out soon so we can... Put... Uh, maybe... I guess we shouldn't get two eggs at the same time. That's maybe a little bit overkill, right? So do you like that one? The Harry Potter game? Is it better, you would say, than like the Pokemon games? Or is it... Or is it just the same, like a different skin? Watch out, some bugs are after your eggs. Oh, are they gonna fight the wolves? I wonder if they are friends or foes with the wolves. Ah, it seems they are friends, of course. Wonder if you can bait them to get over a few of them. I haven't really played it yet, but it looks like it's just a um, reskin, really? Maybe I will try it. Like, the biggest reason why I stopped with Pokemon Go was simply because I live inside of a forest, pretty much, and uh, there were no, like, Pokemon stops or whatever the names was for them around where I live, so pretty much like, okay, we're out of Pokemon Balls, please pay us money. So it was impossible for me to get free Pokemon Balls. So that is why I stopped with it. Look at that, wow. That was a nice attack. Would be nice if the uh, Wuhao <laughs> helped with the same targets, that would be awesome. So yeah, you were definitely right, Finder. He did good here, but he's also losing health. Oh, okay, he's going for the wolves. That's a smart idea to split up. <laughs> Let's follow back there and maybe we can avoid the, the wolves for now. We don't really need to fight them right now. Or are they just gonna follow me? Okay, they stay there, nice. I stopped with Pokemon because they added Gen 3. Oh, okay, is it added more to the game? 
Oh, we got farmer gems, uh, farm supplies again. I'm gonna buy some more eggs. And we can't really do anything with a farmer hose, so no farming for us for now. So no reason to buy that. Uh, but let's see, did they have some basket of bears? Here we have it. Let's sell some of these. See what kind of seeds we could do. So this one is gonna go to the top. And get some berry bushes. And uh, let's see what more could we do. I did buy it to buy I did buy so we can make one sweet potato at least. Can we do carrot? No? Not sure if they have any prickly pears, do they? Let's buy some chanterelles. Delicious mushroom ready to be eaten. That's also the easiest mushroom you can go and find in the fall, when it's fall. It's the easiest one that you can get pretty much. Because it's just a golden mushroom and there's nothing else that looks like it. At least not where I live. It's uh, super safe to pick them. But always make research before because uh, if you're not... If you haven't done it before, I guess it can be easier to take the wrong one, I guess. Are you going back to fight them? Chasing the wolf, you really want to? You really want to chase the wolves? <laughs> I guess we can... I don't know, I don't want to deal with them right now. I don't know why to keep going there. Hello, the happy avocado. How you doing, man? Good to see you, dude. And the goblins? Uh, they eat uh, everything the other ones eat, pretty much. But we're a little bit more limited to the amount of different uh, things we can cook at the moment. Crafting. I'm just gonna cancel that once to make sure we make uh, these first. Yes, woke up. Okay, very nice. So is it like early for you? Did you wake up uh, late? Goblins eat more animal product, like meat and eggs. Okay, let's see, are we... No, he's talking. You should be rafting, not talking. Oh, well, you should eat more eggs? Eggs are very nice, I like them. But I haven't had eggs in quite a while now. Lately I've been eating for breakfast like a banana or two. That's about it. Can't find any food, so I guess Ty here is stuck flying on something invisible. I'm hungry, please feed me. Me baby goblin, me want to eat. Give now. Me like egg, give me egg. Nom nom nom. Is he singing now? Is he singing about food? <laughs> okay, here we got some sweet potato slip that we could uh, put out then. Okay, we got some bugs. Oh, why did they decide to spawn next to the wolves? I guess we're just gonna skip them because I think the egg is still gonna grow. Even if they don't attack, it's still gonna grow, right? Oh, it's almost 12 for you, okay. Where did you live, by the way? Was it like, was it Florida that you lived in? I don't remember it wrong, or was it some other place? Yep, they are probably too far to see your town and eggs are locked. Oh, so eggs will actually not progress until I take them out, you say? Hey, I guess they decided to go and fight these again. 
Yeah, that's probably it, because we have it inside. Why do they want to fight the wolves instead? I want to take the first enemies first. Oh, okay, in California, okay. Oh, the baby goblin's starving. <laughs> I'm starving, but I'm about to eat this freaking big egg here. I think that's one of the big ones. A large fried egg. He's gonna be happy. It's getting a big, big egg. Here we go. A lot of bones, a lot of meat, some pelts as well. Let's see how we're doing out here. I kind of wish the trap would be, like, when he traps something, he would deliver what he trapped and put it in a box. <laughs> it would be really, really nice. And I only have one trapping ground. So let's plant some uh, sweet potato slip. We can have a little garden in the back here with them. Some bear bushes. Ooh, what did he find? Some cougars. I wonder if they will chase us. I don't know how dangerous these guys are. Will they stay there? Okay, they stay. It's the baby goblin cannibal. <laughs> I think he's eating the big, um, the big bird eggs, not the goblin eggs. <laughs> I feel like we need to make sure that our warrior get healed soon. Only 60, 68 in health, so not so much health at the moment. Our shaman is level 4. Is there anything we can do that would be... Easy to do. Beast Tamer Flute. Hmm, maybe we should do that one. Or have I already made one? Okay, we do have a Beast Tamer Flute. Who wanted to be the Beast Tamer? Who was it? It was... Was it Wu Hao or was it... It was Soul Rack, right? Current trapper. Could make your shaman and temporary spirit walker. Yeah, that that's true. So the beast tamer, in honor of the steadfast effort as resilience, we hear about advance a soul rack on the fifth day of something that I can see to be an uh, beast tamer. Can make some tea. Nice man. I would also love some tea, but I don't know. It's it, it is like my my nose don't like tea or something. Because even every time when I drink tea and the coffee and stuff, I notice that my nose gets really weird. It's like it's like when you have a cold but I don't have a cold. I don't know if that's some like reaction on caffeine or something, I don't know. So I'm trying to avoid it a little bit more recently. Solrak is now a level 1 beast tamer of the Four Feathers, a group of elite, elite podios. I really want to see that. Should we take a look and see how that looks? Look at this as well. This is so... I really, really love the look of this one. Look at this guy. Beast tamer. Got this nice little cute little fist weapon. This little beer costume. Bear costume. I can't say bear without saying beer. <laughs> But it's so cute, I really, really like this one. How much damage do that one do? Ooh! 10! I guess it's not so much, it's like standard weapon damage, but it sounded so much because I had workers like 4 damage. Bruno says, try adding some healing potion to see if the shaman will use it to heal. It works like an herbalist. Okay, let's try. Yeah, 
healing potions. Oh, there it is. Okay, Firefly Essence. I noticed, by the way, I think with some craft, so I'm gonna see what happens now before I say too much. Yeah. Maybe we have enough already, could be that. But I think there might be something with a smart crafter that doesn't want to do the Firefly Essence. I don't know why, but it seems like it doesn't want to do it. But we can just gonna put them up there, five of them. I saw Shaman use the healing potion, but it seems like it didn't heal for very much. Okay. I think those healing potions, they could be... If it's the same power as you have with the standard uh, halflings, I definitely think they can make... Ooh, ooh, look at that! The Bodios are here! Charge! <laughs> so cute! That's so awesome! Man, you, you're real amazing, Bruno, to make all this awesome stuff. Crazy Podios. Would be nice if they would also lay some eggs after. <laughs> that was super cool. Wait, we can actually... We can harvest them for meat? I guess it doesn't hurt to do so, right? I'm just gonna talk about it. What are they doing? No! Oh. <laughs> it said we could harvest them, but I guess they just said goodbye to them. Thanking for the support, I guess. Okay, so the harvesting thing is the ace messing with it? <laughs> uh, what are, where are they going? They are like determined to go and uh, take these cougars out. I guess we have to do it so they stop going here. Here we go, the chickens are back. This reminds me of uh, Naruto. <laughs> with summoning some frogs and stuff. Wow, that scream. Here we go. How does it feel to be a cougar beaten up by little chickens? <laughs> Where are they going? Have you found something here? Okay, I guess they found another one. Two of them, actually. these guys. Hi Bento, nice stream. Uh, good to see you Janli, nice to see you. Nice to see that you could catch the stream as well. Uh, we're playing a new kingdom today, the Firefly Goblins, created by Bruno Supremo in the chat. Really really cool and super cute, look at them, so cute. This is my favorite, that's my favorite guy so far with equipment. Now we can see that one of them stayed to talk with the little Podios. How are you doing, Jenly? Hope you had a good day so far. And hope you got some chocolate going. <laughs> I haven't had any, like, um, candy or something in, like, I don't know, two weeks, maybe? Which is kind of odd. Yeah, these goblins are super cute. And uh, the Beast Tamer already is really, really cool. I can just imagine when we get later on with the build upgrades, how cool that's gonna be. Because later we get this one, wildlife, some local fauna wildlife to help in battle. Got some traps, some Varanus, Firefly Cloud, and we got Dragon Aura. Summons an ancient dragon spirit. And this one we will not get since we're playing the goblins, but this would summon a big, big wolf. But how does it work though? Like, when we progress in levels, will my 
beast tamer summon this, 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 like, uh, will he summon all of them at the same time, or will he only summon one of them? I am fine, how are you? I'm also very, very fine. Been really good, like, the latest two weeks I felt, I felt great pretty much every day, so it's pretty, pretty nice. It is them all, but uh, with time intervals in between. Okay, so they have uh, like a little cooldown or something between spells. So now we have eight goblins. Did we have a name before that someone wanted to be in the town, by the way? We got Solrak Stifler that has been named Unfunt as well, and Wuhao. And Wu Hao wanted to be a shaman and later a spirit walker. So we might go for um, making Funt, our shaman, to be a temporary spirit walker. Yes, yeah, so we can heal up our troops perhaps. But uh, to do so, we also have to craft this one. Hello, hello, Twinkly Tanla, Tanya, how are you doing? How are you doing? Hope your stream was fun, as I was streaming some. And you were doing Ori and the Blind Forest, right? Hope you had a good time. I need to play that game as well. I only seen a tiny bit of it, but it looks really, really cute. Yeah, I see how confusing it is that they grow without uh, you noticing. Definitely adding a notification with zoom to the entity. It would be nice with like an like a notification or something at least that would be awesome. That is true, it was fun, but the game is so much challenger than I expected. Yeah. I can imagine that it's quite quite a tough game. And I did finish watching Stranger Things yesterday. I think it was a pretty good season. I'm not gonna speak anything what happens in it, but I, I still think it was a pretty good one, considering it was the third season. Oh, hello, Gerwolf. Good to see you, and thank you for subscribing to me, man. How are you doing today, dude? You are very welcome. Quite alright, to be honest. How about you? I'm also pretty good today. Pretty good today. Yeah, we're not gonna do any spoilers. If people do spoilers, it's gonna be bad time. Because <laughs> spoilers are the worst. I think you can only start to like speak about what happens to Stranger Things maybe like a few months after the release or something. Uh, yeah, we're playing with the latest Ace uh, Unstable, but we're also playing with uh, the Firefly Clan, which is the Goblin Clan, and we're playing inside of the Swamp Biome from uh, Bruno Suprema's mod. Are we gonna watch the last episode today, Bruno? Nice. But yeah, this is our cute little little goblins and. Uh, they have some new professions, which is pretty awesome if you didn't see them before. Maybe we have some enemy, and we'll find them soon, maybe. But look at this, girl wolf. Would you prefer to me to call you Gamma? Because that's your Discord name, right? Uh, but we do have this guy, our Beast Tamer, which is pretty cool. He can actually summon creatures to help him battle, which is pretty awesome. Oh, browsing. <laughs> that really, really sucks. I, I don't know who watches like Attack on Titan, but uh, when I don't know if it was the first episode. It was the one episode when it happened some stuff in that one, and uh, 
YouTube recommended me a video from a channel that I'm not subscribed to. I didn't know the channel existed and I got a notification or recommendation and that thumbnail spoiled Attack on Titan latest season for me. And I was like, oh, thank you, YouTube. Thanks. <laughs> it wasn't even a channel, like a channel I followed. Gamma would work. Oh, nice. But yeah, spoilers really, really suck. If you got a friend that uh, gives you spoilers, then you know it's time to remove that friend. <laughs> That's pretty much how it is, really. Friends don't spoil. Let's see, our fishing house is soon to be done. Yeah, that's one. If you have Facebook and stuff like that, and Twitter and YouTube, if there is a series like uh, if you follow like Game of Thrones or any other big series, do not go to those before you watch the episode. <laughs> because there will always be spoilers and there will also be the, these people who's like, oh, I'm gonna clickbait and I'm gonna spoil people for the money. <laughs> that's so rude. I'm kind of thinking of making. Um, our road continue here a bit. And we're gonna do the same thing with removing parts. I guess we can make a pre-made road. Should we do that? Let's do that. So, um, we can make this as parts. I wanna make a decent size, like 3x9 maybe? We're just gonna remove a few parts here and there, like that. Then we can save this one. This is why I never like a Facebook page or group for certain series until after I finished everything, yes. Don't like the things you like, pretty much. <laughs> Not if it's an ongoing series, that's for sure. <laughs> I, I were a little bit late to the um, Stranger Things new season party. I was a little bit late to it. But I really, really like that uh, they released like the entire season at once. I really, really like that, so we can decide to watch it directly if we want to. Uh, we might have to move a few things here. Maybe. I think so. Spoiler, Bant is gonna kill more enemies in this map. <laughs> and Batman will die. <laughs>